Hi, and welcome back to ForkandPlate.com. I'm Davina, and today we're gonna show you how to make some awesome chicken pot pies. For this recipe, we're gonna use whole chicken breasts, bone in and skin on. I like to use those because they have a lot of flavor. And what we're gonna do, just gonna put a little olive oil on them. If you don't have a brush, it's okay. Just get it on there however you can get it on there. While you're doing the olive oil, actually, you wanna preheat your oven to 350 degrees so that it's ready to go. Then, you're just gonna generously salt and pepper this. I like to use kosher salt, but use a good amount. And then we're just gonna roast these for about 45 minutes. Okay, so when you're cutting your carrots for this recipe, you can cut them into rounds or you can dice it, but just try to make sure it's all relatively the same size so that they cook evenly. And we're gonna blanch our carrots. And the reason we do this is because we just, we don't want um, the carrots to be hard when you bite into the pot pie. So we're gonna just kind of soften them. So you just drop them into boiling water for about two to three minutes, and then we're gonna put them into some ice water. So you wanna heat up your chicken stock, and it's better if you have homemade chicken stock, but if you don't, you can use the store-bought stuff. And we're gonna add just a sprig of thyme, one bay leaf, and a couple chicken bouillon cubes, and we're just gonna let those dissolve in there. So you're gonna take your pan and put it on medium heat, and you're gonna take some butter, put that in, let that melt. So once your butter is all melted, you're gonna add your onions, and then we're also gonna throw our mushrooms in here at this point. And make sure this is over medium heat because you don't wanna brown them, you just kinda of wanna cook them until they're translucent. So once your onions are translucent, you're gonna add your flour to this butter mixture. And we're gonna whisk this in. Okay, so once this is cooking for about two minutes over medium heat, we're just gonna remove our thyme and our bay leaf because our stock has been brought up to a boil. We're just gonna add our hot stock to this. This could take five hours with this ladle. <laughs> Use the smallest ladle you have so it takes a really long time. No. Now I'm gonna pick this up and just dump it. Just be careful. Don't burn yourself. So once your chicken is done, you just wanna let it cool so you can handle it. Okay, so once your chicken is cool enough to handle, you're gonna take the skin off, take it off the bone, and cube it. Then we're gonna add all of our ingredients. So we're gonna start with our chicken. We're gonna add our peas, our blanched carrots. I like a lot of carrots, so we're gonna add a lot. A few of these pearl onions and some fresh chopped parsley. We're doing individual pot pies, so we're using these ramekins here so that we're gonna do about four. Um, so whatever you end up using, you wanna take it and put it on your dough and cut about a half an inch around the outside of it so that you can fold it over. And try to go all the way around. At this point, you want to preheat your oven to about 375 degrees, and then you're going to take your ramekins or whatever you're using, and you're gonna ladle your filling into it, just like this. We're gonna just take our dough, put it on top, and then you're gonna fold it over. You can pinch it or do whatever you want, make it look like a pie. Going to poke three holes in it, and we're going to use an egg wash, which is just, we've used heavy cream and eggs for this one. It'll give us a nice golden brown color. And if you want to add a little design on the top, or if you're making it for a special someone, you can add a little heart. So once they're all set, we're just going to put them in the oven and let them cook. So after about 45 minutes and your crust is cooked all the way through, uh, they're ready to eat. So enjoy.